What's going on, everybody? I was going to hop on here real quick and tell you a quick tale. This tale comes uh, out of Monroe County, courtesy of the Heartland series and a bunch of other people. And there's a couple, two or three different versions of this tale, and I'm probably going to take about all three of them and mash them together because nobody knows the, exactly how it goes. But the man's name, I think, was Isaac Jeffrey. The name of the story is called Jeffrey's Hell. And uh, it's a story about a man and his hunting dog. And he was real close to his hunting dog. His dog's name was Bo. Legend had it that Bo once rescued uh, Jeffrey from a, uh, from a bear that was trying to sneak up on him one night when they was camping. So he was attached to this dog, needless to say. And uh, so come summer, I'm not sure when this was, if it was in the 30s, 40s, I, I'm not sure. I didn't pay much attention when I listened to these stories, but... Whenever it was, it, it was a terrible drought. This may have even been in the 1800s, in the late 1800s. But it was, a, it was a terrible, terrible drought that year. About like it was a few years ago here when we had the Gatlinburg fires. But uh, everybody knew if there was a, a fire, it would be serious. So one night, these coon hunters, they, they go out hunting. And uh, a train few miles away starts a fire and what it does it applies its rail brake and the sparks from the brake ignite a fire and it ain't just a little bit until it's a roaring forest fire I mean the fire kicks up because it's so dry to a serious situation in just about 10 minutes so these coon hunters they smelled the smoke and saw the flame they round up their dogs he rounds up Bo uh, that's his hunting dog, old Bo. And uh, you can hear him hollering, Here, Bo, here, Bo. Something like that, I guess, if I'd imagine it. <laughs> Through the woods. So uh, everybody got their dogs round up. Jeffrey got Bo. And they started out of there, getting out of the woods, pretty quick pace, because it was a serious situation at this time. And Bo, being the excellent hunting dog that he was, I guess he must have caught a whiff of a of a coon because he took off through the woods. He ran right smack toward the fire. And uh, old Jeffrey took after him. And Jeffrey's friends, the two or three that's hunting with him, grabbed him. Told him, said, Jeffrey, you can't go in there. He said, old Bo went in there. I've got to go in there. They said, you can't go in there. He said, I'll go in there or I'll go to hell trying. So he run off through the woods. Well, that fire raged out of control. I'm not sure how many days. But uh, finally when they got the fire under control and everything got settled down, they went to search for Jeffrey. And they searched for days and he was never found. They never found the old guy. But a few days later, his dog, Bo, come back to town. And uh, he was pawing and scratching and acting real funny. And they followed Bo back to a place in the woods where there's an old cave. And the cave ain't very deep. They said you could see all the way back to the end of it. And said he sort of dug and pawed around at that cave, but there was nothing in the cave. They never seen no sign of Jeffrey ever again. He was never to be found. So uh, that's how it got its name, Jeffrey's Hell. And if you Google Jeffrey's Hell, the story, you'll I'll try to leave a link to it. I'll tell you what, I'll try in the description to put a link to the story. But it's in the Cherokee National Forest, and there's actually a trail called the Jeffrey's Hell Trail. And it was named after this sad story that happened. But they claim to this day on a hot, hot summer night, if it's been dry, that you can smell smoke in the air if you go on this trail and you go into these woods called Jeffrey's Hell that you can smell like cinders burning 
and that you can hear his dog beller and if you listen real close there's a ghost of a chance you can still hear the old man holler here bo